Hey, what's going on guys? Today I just want to give you a quick overview of LaunchBox. We're going to go over a few built-in features. We won't go into much detail, but I want to show you what LaunchBox can do for your retro emulation needs. As you can see, I have Nintendo 64 pulled up here. We have some beautiful box art. Now the best part about LaunchBox is it automatically downloads this art for us. When we import our games, it will download art just like this. Over here on the left hand side, I have a few systems set up already. I can choose by completed, date added, date modified, developer, favorite, genre, platform. We can go on and on here. My favorite is to set it at platform. That way I can just choose, let's say Nintendo 64. We go to one of these games here and just click on it one time. We'll get some fan art in the background. So these are nice boxes here. I love the front of the box. But LaunchBox also downloads a ton of other assets for us. I'm going to go to Image Type. I'll go to 3D Boxes. These are nice. Carts. Hmm, this is getting a little better here. And my favorite, 3D Carts. So these are my Nintendo 64 3D Carts that LaunchBox automatically downloaded for us. Now I have this set within Nintendo 64. Let's go to NES. You can also set your background to any picture you want. I have mine to my desktop background. We'll just click on Fester's Quest, old NES game. Actually, not a bad game. Image type, I want to set this up as 3D carts also. These look really good, kind of cell shaded. This is all downloaded for you automatically. So let's say you want some more information about the game. Well, we can go to Details, Fester's Quest for Nintendo Entertainment System, released on 9-13-1989. Sunsoft was the publisher. We can go on down here. We also have a 5-star rating system and a love button. So if you love this game, you can click it. It will be added to your favorites. This game is okay, so I'm going to rate it at 2 stars. We also have information about the game here. And if we scroll down a little more, we have some screenshots and some fan art. We'll choose another system, SNES, see Three Ninjas Kickback. Not a great game, but an awesome movie back in the day. We have more information, and if you scroll down, you have more artwork. Screenshots, if fan art was made for the game, it will be listed also. Let's just say I wanted to find a game from 1993. I'll go over here and we'll go to release date. 1993, oh, Adam's Family. This is the Sega Game Gear version. Battletoads and Double Dragon. Lots of games. You can find them by date, you can find them by genre, pretty much anything you'd like, but I kind of stick to the platforms which is here. That way I know what I'm going to choose. Got Neo Geo. I'll go to image type and I'll go to screenshots. So we have some screenshots for the game also. So everything that you've seen so far comes with the free version of LaunchBox. You can use this unlimitedly. We also have a paid version of LaunchBox. Now this comes with a few extra features. We have big box mode, which is my favorite hands down and we also have a thing called controller automation which will allow us to set up our controller exit our games from here using a controller we never have to hit our keyboard or a mouse after everything's set up i want to go ahead and demo big box mode for you guys because this is really cool let's go ahead and get right into big box this is big box what I'm showing you on screen now is new for version 7.8. This is the arcade playlist. As you can see, I have some Capcom classics. We're going to scroll over to CPS1 and so on and so on. Big Box is totally customizable. Most of these themes are created by users just like yourself, and you can get them from the LaunchBox website. Or if you feel up to it, you can create your own theme. Now, Big Box enables a nice platform for you to choose your games in an elegant way. You can set up cover flow, you can set up vertical game art, you can set up vertical box art, 
horizontal box art, the possibilities are endless with big box. So I'm just going to leave you with a little more of this. I really appreciate you guys watching. If this is something you might be interested in, go ahead and visit the LaunchBox website. The URL is on screen now, and I've also left a link in the description for you. We hope to see you on the forum very soon, and like always, thanks for watching.